Who'd like more happiness? Anyone want more happiness? Yeah? What about to be, a, to be able to achieve more? Anyone want to achieve more? What about better sex? <laughs> Sorry, that's the wrong call. Number one, the power of belief. I don't know if you're aware of, but we have beliefs going on in our head at any moment of any day. I'd like to share with you a story about a gentleman called Mr. Wright. This was reported in the Journal of America. Right. The power of belief. Now, you can't actually achieve results until you believe you're capable of it. When our clients come and talk to us, the most thing that they're, they're absolutely interested in is results. That's what we find. Most people are interested in getting better results in their life. And depend regardless of what area, whether it's in your relationships, in your career. So it's results that are important. But what we find is that, and we've been doing this for a long time, what we find is that people want to have different results, but they're not willing to do whatever it takes in order to achieve those. Or is it? Do any people that worry, get anxious? Everyone gets a bit anxious at times. Anyone gets anxious here? So when you're anxious, what are you focusing on? The best outcome of whatever you're thinking about, or the worst outcome? <laughs> The worst, exactly. Now, how often does the worst actually happen? Hardly ever. What, 1%? 5% of the time? So, hang on, that means that 95% of the time the worst doesn't happen, but you choose to focus on the worst, okay, which is a bit unrealistic, isn't it, really? And when you focus on the worst, you produce the chemicals of fear, because if you imagine it's going to turn out the worst possible way, you feel awful because you produce those chemicals inside, and that's what creates anxiety. It's as simple as that equation of life. And the question is, for you to be totally in control of your life, you need to move, if you choose to, because it's about your choice, over to the cause side of the equation, and you find that your results will start to come to pass. Dead. So if you're chronically angry, you have enough toxins in your breath to kill a guinea pig. So what's it doing to you? It's not amazing. If the thoughts are that, that powerful, it can create those chemicals, what are the rest of the thoughts that are you doing?